G'day everybody, how's it going? It's Pete here again with another review for you today of what I think might be one of the best poles slash tripods for vlogging and filmmakers and it's from Velvon, it's the Polpod version 3. So what I think makes this such a versatile and handy little pole to have in your arsenal is one for the fact that it has feet at the bottom which extend out, uh, they can go out pretty much to a 90 degree flat angle and these little legs can also extend out to give you a wider stance for more stability. Okay, those feet can also totally come off altogether if you like and you can just use it as a boom pole or a, a selfie stick uh, basically. And on top of it, you'll see I'm using my new DJI Osmo Pocket here which uh, I'm absolutely loving. I've only used it a few times so far, admittedly, but uh, I've been having a good fun testing it out with this pole here, and it's, abled, it's allowed me to get different angles and ways of filming, uh, filming myself for YouTube, and also to get uh, nice steady shots of nature, waterfalls and lakes and things like that, uh, which I particularly like to film. So, on the top of the pole here, you'll see it has a little quick release plate, so I'm able to easily take it on and off. If I want to do some handheld shots with the Osmo Pocket, I can very quickly just take it off and do some handheld shots. And then I can pop it back into its little quick release plate like that, and it's good to go. Apologies if you can see my sweat, by the way. Uh, I'm in central Japan here in summer. It's very hot and humid and we're in the middle of the rainy season. That's why I'm filming inside today. On top of the pole pod, it has a little bowl head here, which I can angle any way I like. For example, back like this, so I can hold it out and have it shoot straight back at me. Or I can hold it down super duper low and uh, with this ball head here, it allows me to get some really cool angles that you might not otherwise be able to get. The pole pod has three sections and it's adjustable via these little clips here. So at its smallest length, it packs up to about 55 centimeters long from the base of the pole to the top of the quick release plate here. And once it's fully extended, you get about 170 meters of reach. So I'm just going to extend it out now. All the clips are very nice and strong and sturdy. And here it is now. Let me come back so you can see just how long it reaches out. Just like this. So even with these feet at the bottom, I can even put it into my uh, top of my leg here just for extra stability, somewhere to rest it. And I'm able to reach out nice and easily for example, maybe over a bridge or a fence and get some cool angled shots looking straight down or pan it upwards to get a nice high shot. I mean, you can get probably 15 feet or so above your head if you hold this up, maybe even more. Also, on top of the ball head and the quick release mount here has a little uh, spirit level so you're able to just check if it's perfectly flat or not. And the bottom of the pole pod has a nice spongy grip, so it makes it nice and easy for you to hold out very easily without the risk of having it slip or anything like that. So you can mount heavier camera gear on it if you wish, but right now I'm enjoying working with the Osmo Pocket for my stock video and YouTube purposes just because it's so light and portable and easy to hold even with one hand. So I'm still able to use even a full-size DSLR and this Tamron 150 to 600 millimeter monster of a lens here and you can still see it's holding it up no problems whatsoever. So if I just loosen the ball head I'm able to still have steady shots for things like shooting surfing or action sports and whatnot and with a little twist of the lever here it'll lock it into place and I can still have it however I want. Um, probably not the kind of thing you'd want to shoot super long exposures with, like stars, things like that. For that, you'd want a dedicated tripod, obviously, uh, because of course, with a bit of wind, there is going to be a little bit of movement. But for your general purpose, uh, 
action shooting, video work, vlogging, all that kind of thing. It really does a fantastic job. Uh, but for all practical uses, it's fantastic to just have something so light and compact that I can hold out, uh, do some vlogging, or I can put it down on the ground and film some nature or whatever's in front of me and not have to worry about it falling over at the same time. Just with a few twists, I can just bring it down back to its compact state, which looks something like that. As I said before, you can just take off the uh, little legs if you want to, and now you have just a simple boom pole with a ball head to work with. And of course, you could even mount lights or anything like that to hold up and light up a subject as well. So now let's take a look at some test footage that I made using the Velbon Pole Pod and the DJI Osmo Pocket on the waterfall in the front yard here. So there we are, there's a look at the Velbon Pole Pod version 3, what I think might be one of the best poles on the market for vlogging and filmmaking, being that it's just so light, and pretty compact and versatile, uh, being that it's able to stand up by itself. But if you know of something that may be just as good or even better, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.